Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Today I'm here to help solve Mitchell's problem. I don't know where in the world you are, Mitchell. I wish you'd tell me where you are because it makes it so much interesting for me when I get your, your Gmails. But this is for Mitchell. Mitchell wants to know what to do, do with eucalyptus. Some people call it um, silver dollar because they do look a bit like silver dollars, don't they? You wanted something, an arrangement or a display for a powder room and you said that you wanted to put it into a tall glass so you must have really lovely long bits of it. Now I just have to tell you that I would be a little bit worried about doing that, putting it into glass because this is what happens. Now I had to purchase this, um, this the gum yesterday but you'll notice just overnight that that's what the water's done. Now two reasons why it's done that, it's the oil coming out of the stems but the other issue is that even, like, even if I'd taken the leaves away it would still have gone this dirty murky colour. So what I'm suggesting, I've got two ideas to show you, so this is the first one. Why don't you get a lovely silver can, put, fill it with some foam and very, very quickly, I'll show you what you can do. Put that into there like that and have something that is, let me just cut all these bits off here, strip the foliage off. Oh, I just love that smell, it's so fantastic. And what have I got here? Get that there, to all this foliage off, and then just do sort of like a really simple, lovely, rustic, informal type of design because it is sort of like that kind of a, a, um, a material. It is a bit rustic, it's got a lovely smell, and there's 101 things that you can do with this around the house too. So nothing too sort of formal, just as I said, something really rustic and just like push all your forms in here. And I'll just put these other bits in here. I should have cut all this before I started, but oh, the smell. I wish we could, I could show you or we could provide some smell here so that you could smell what I'm enjoying. Okay, so just put that all around there like that. And I'm thinking that if it's going into a powder room that it's probably going to go onto a ledge or a console and there's possibly going to be a mirror there. So the reason I'm making it all round is because it needs to be viewed from all round, of course it does. So just keep putting all of those little bits in there, turn that around there like that, any little holes, fill it up with everything, waste not, want not's what I like to say, and I'll just put that little bit there and I want to use that bit there too. My goodness, my fingers are very sticky about now. Right, there you go, how's that? That'd be beautiful in a powder room. And the other thing that I like to do when I put things onto placement surfaces is just put a little wee few bits just down there on your placement surface, just to look like they've dropped. I hope that you like that, and I hope that that solved the problem. And later on I'll do you something else you're using um, artificial if you can't get any of the fresh. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again. Thank you.